Niggas know, whoa, whoa. My chain swinging to the floor, whoa, whoa. Smoking OZ low, whoa, whoa. Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects And today we'll be going over how you can achieve this grungy aesthetic That you see a lot of people doing it right now Like every IG post and music videos on YouTube I see everybody doing it right now So I'll be using my grunge FX to show you guys how to do this It will be also like overview on grunge FX If you wanna copy it The link will be in the description And don't worry, I'll also show you how to create it from scratch too. Let's just head out to my composition. You can see all of these clips lined up. These are from Molly Santana music video that I grabbed. So big shout out to the director and stuff. So here opening up my animation preset go to user preset after you install it you will see a grunge ultimate grunge bundle and there you can see there's two version of it so grunge add-on requires sapphire and universe to use it and grunge default doesn't require any plugin it utilizes stock effects to create unique looks but i highly recommend you getting ultimate grunge bundle because it comes with a great deal and offers 60 plus assets in it so yeah and if you're wondering there are not replicas of each other they are completely unique and new so the grunge add-on is unique and the default is unique too so enough of talking let's just grab some effects from like crt scene 3 let's just test it out from of course from the add-on and right away you can see this crazy look damn this actually looks really cool okay this is the before and this is the after that's insane so let's just grab another one from like default let's just go with 12 fps oh man that also looks really cool right there i think i gotta match it from the beginning so let's go here and apply it now yes sir that looks really cool right there and i think it fits with the scene perfectly as well also you can like create the adjustment layer and throw in insane zoom in here it's as this insane zooms so it looks really cool you can even like copy it and paste it around damn that looks really cool right there so let's just test out another one in this two clips so let's just go with add-on again and let's just try like damage footage and right Right away you can see this really cool distortion effect that you mostly seen in Kati's videos so it's on the pack as well it actually looks really realistic as the Kati ones i'll play it right here Kati's version and this is my version right here you can even add more flicker into it if you want like I, I really like playing with flicker in this preset and right there you can see those crazy effects and that looks really trippy right there you can see guys so the possibilities are endless with this pack i also like this double clip and right away you can see this really crazy double clip effect it's like prism 2 see this man see this just in one click that's insane also you can stack up effects create the adjustment layer and trim it to their size uh, like that and add on effects on this again oh let's just go with the puddle one this is like a transition and stuff so let's just see how it looks oh uh, hotspot let's just remove hotspot from here and then you can see this crazy puddle transition which looks pretty cool in my opinion oh uh, let's just throw in like black and white glow in it too oh man that's a killer right there so enough of showing you my packs i'll show you how to create this effects as well so there's not like a specific way of creating these effects you just mess around with keyframes and effects so like you can add like curves if you don't know what curves is it just makes those black and white areas really dark so so you can add like curves and play with the darks and play with the brights to create those distortion clip is too dark already so let's just so let's just add like exposure probably and put it before the curves and bring up the exposure right there so you can see right there you have this crazy color distortion like that color distortion right there and to add that texture i also like to add a heat wave into this and bring up the amount of it you can lower down the flow speed to like 
30 something and bring up the amount as well that looks super cool like there guys after that you can add some glitches too like you can use like fi glitches um uh, via digital glitch yeah and play with like the master distortion yeah like there and you can just set like a simple expression on the seed like let's just make it times and 40 right there after that you can mess around with some soft ass stuff like flicker i really like flicker uh let's bring up the amount like crazy right here play with sapphire jitter frames i guess yeah it creates this jittering look which i think looks pretty cool right there oh man that actually looks really cool but let's just remove it remove it for now then you can add like hls color balance hls too put it before all of those effects and play with that too like oh uh, maybe something like that yes sir and another effect i really like is posterize time onto this just add posterize time set it to 12 and also echo with this and three and play with the decay and set it to minimum and put it before your effects as well and to top it all off i like to add a grain this is the sauce right here guys so you can add like add grain if you don't have cf5 grain like put it to final import and you can play with these but i really like sapphire grain so let's just add sapphire grain into this and right away you can see this crazy distortion look i think i'm gonna like lower down the size of it and that looks pretty cool right there so that's how we create this type of grungy effects i'll finish this edit real quick using all of my preset and making my own tool and so after that i'll show you my final result uh, one thing I also forgot to mention in the pack, you will also get some really cool overlay that you can see use that you can use. So let's just drag it on. And you can play with all of these. They are really cool transition and really cool overlay as well. So you can use those as well. So after playing around for some time, like 15 minutes, nothing too crazy, my added slash result looks something like this. So as you can see, it really looks crazy and creepy as well as those music videos that are going viral right now. So if you want to achieve this look, the link will be in the description. It's on my site, asimnova.com. You can check it out. Also, it's on really special discount. You're really getting like $27 off right now. So make sure to grab it fast. So that's it for today's video, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.